Welcome to our channel, The Work of God, where we find topics of high spirituality that lead us through the paths of holiness. The Weight of One Holy Mass Spiritual True Value of the Holy Mass Today I will tell you a beautiful story that may change your life. Most people don't understand the value of the Holy Mass. In my case, I discovered this mystery more than 30 years ago, and because of this, I go to Holy Mass daily. Today you will hear a very powerful testimony. This is a true story that was related to a sister Mary Veronica Murphy by an elderly nun who initially heard it from the lips of the late Reverend Father Stanislaus S.S.C.C. One day many years ago, in a little town of Luxembourg, a captain of the forest guards was in deep conversation with the butcher, when an elderly woman entered the shop. The butcher broke off the conversation to ask the old woman what she wanted. She had come to beg for a little meat, but had no money. The captain was amused at the conversation, which ensued between the poor woman and the butcher. Only a little meat, she said. But the butcher answered, But how much are you going to give me? She said, I am sorry I have no money, but I'll hear Holy Mass for you. Both the butcher and the captain were very good men, but very indifferent about religion. So they at once began to scoff at the old woman's answer. All right then, said the butcher. You go out and hear Holy Mass for me, and when you come back, I'll give you as much meat as the Holy Mass is worth. The woman left the shop and returned later. She approached the counter, and the butcher, seeing her, said, All right, then we'll see. He then took a slip of paper and wrote on it, I heard a Holy Mass for you. He then placed the paper on the scale and the tiny bone on the other side but the paper was showing as being heavier than the bone. Next, he placed a piece of meat instead of the bone, but still the paper proved heavier. Both men were beginning to feel ashamed of their mockery, but continued their game. A large piece of meat was placed on the scales, but still the little piece of paper held its own. The butcher, exasperated, examined the scales, but found they were right. What do you want, my good woman? Must I give you a whole leg of mutton? At this, he placed the leg of mutton on the balance. But the paper outweighed the meat. A larger piece of meat was put on. But again, the weight remained on the side of the paper. This so impressed the butcher that he was converted and promised to give the woman her daily ration of meat. As for the captain, he left the shop a changed man, an ardent lover of daily holy mass. Two of his sons became priests, one a Jesuit and the other a father of the Sacred Heart. Father Stanislaus finished by saying, I am the religious of the Sacred Heart, and the captain was my father. From that incident, the captain became a daily mass goer and his children were trained to follow his example. Later on, his sons became priests. He advised them to offer Holy Mass well every day and never miss the sacrifice due to their own fault or someone else's. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel The Word of God, and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. The Lord waits for you at Holy Mass. God bless you.